2013 It's the year of the serpent The year of the snake Gong Hai Fa Choi Happy Chinese New Year It's time for regeneration Rebirth Wisdom 2012 was the year of the dragon There's an obvious serpentine energy going on in the air so you're going to see a lot of rebirth well the process has already started but you're going to see the rebirth of a lot of ancient sciences you're going to see a lot more discoveries because we had a venus transit what happens with the venus transit which happens every um i think it happens every 86 years or even some aspects of the venus transit happens every 500 years so when you have these venus transits which are very rare there's always a corresponding shift in the technology on the planet Earth. If you track all of the former Venus transits, you'll see that humanity has made a leap after the Venus transit. You're getting a lot of signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars. I mean, this started many years ago. But let's say around 2008, there was an eclipse that started one phase of our um, ascension. Then you had, I, I always talk about the sign that appeared in the stars December 21st 2010 it was the winter solstice it was a full moon and it was a full lunar eclipse all of those three things happened at one time in 2010 the last time we saw that configuration in the stars was approximately 400 years ago when we had first entered the slave ships and we were crossing across the Atlantic Ocean, we saw the full moon on the winter solstice night with a lunar eclipse. The first slave ships that were leaving saw that sign in the stars. Now, the Bible does speak of in Genesis chapter 15 that we would be over here, strangers in a land that's not ours for 400 years, and then this slavery will come to an end. So apparently, not only is this a time of great spiritual transformation, there's, there's just a shift on so many levels. And I don't believe that Obama is the Messiah or the Savior. I believe that he's a sign that somehow the universe has shifted its consciousness and he's just the visible manifestation of a shift in universal consciousness. We are in the age of Kali Yuga for the next 432 approximately thousand years. Humanity and life on earth will be in a downward spiral. However, through the grace of Lord Chaitanya, he came to India. Look him up. Sri Chaitanya. It's spelled C-H-A-I-T-A-N-Y-A. Sri Chaitanya came with this transcendental sound vibration 500 years ago. And correspondingly, 500 years ago in Europe... Civilization was living in a very old state. It was the Dark Ages. Then Sri Chaitanya popped up in India chanting Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, and then re engaging these ancient Egyptian hakao or, or words of power because Hari was a very important word in ancient Egypt, it was a divine word. So he comes again to revive this consciousness, this Krishna consciousness. And correspondingly in Europe, they leave the Dark Ages at the same time that this man popped up with this transcendental sound vibration. Because the best way to receive the energy of the Almighty in Kali Yuga is not through scriptures or through do, doing yoga asanas and poses and standing in one spot for a thousand years under a waterfall. You ain't built for that today. You're not built to abstain from sex life. You're not built... You, unfortunately, because of the effects of Kali Yuga, you have a downward trend in righteousness, truthfulness, mercy, forgiveness, bodily strength, duration of life. All of the good quad things that make you a human being and separate you from a lower form of life, you're gradually losing. Children don't live as long as their grandparents lived. Pe people are dying in their 30s and 40s now. It's a wrap. When your grandmother, your great grandmother and grandmother is still alive and they don't bury like half of their family. So life is devolving in Kali Yuga. But through the grace of Krishna, there was a time when it was prophesied in the Vedas that there would be a 10,000 year period in the age of Kali Yuga when the devotees would exist on the surface of the planet Earth and we would more or less trans 
translate this into a spiritual world. So you have a chance right now in this 10,000 year period to make great advancements in spiritual life in a short amount of time. You don't have to do all of these great austerities to get the same results that you can get just from chanting holy sound vibrations. And once again, it doesn't just have to be Hare Krishna. There's many, many, many thousands of transcendental vibrations. You can say hallelujah, hallelujah over and over again with real faith. You can chant the 99 attributes of Allah that's known to man because Allah has over a thousand attributes, but the prophets know most of the other ones. So, once again, truth is one, the sages call it by many. We are in an age of great transformation. I admonish you to take advantage of this, this information, this spiritual energy that's out there. Just ride the wave. For 6,000 years, we've been living on a lower level. Well, let's say 5,000 years because Kali Yuga started about 3100 BC, around the time when there was a great war between Upper Egypt and Lower Egypt. When dynastic Egypt formed, that was around the beginning of Kali Yuga. That was also the time of the Mahabharata War over in India with the Kuru dynasty. And at that same time, the royal families in Nubia were burying their royalty. The, the families in Kush were born, burying their royalty in a graveyard called El Kuru. So there's an obvious connection between the Kushites, the Egyptians, and the people who colonized India. India is just one of our colonies, it's one of our schools, it's one of our institutions. You can find a suitable lifestyle over there, either spiritually or material, if you know how to flex right. But yeah, man, we in a time of transformation, and I'm just so grateful to be at the forefront of this wave of information, this purple light, this harmonious love that's taking over the universe. So chant, y'all, and be happy, because you're never going to find true happiness through the world of the five senses. You're only going to flirt with happiness. Peace and blessings. One love, y'all.